Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading to episode 9 of Sunshine in the Mirrors. It's going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, no, we are getting an opening. <laughs> no, because, okay, so here's the reason why I said that. Okay, so I tried to record this Monday, and I was starting. And I look, and I'm like, okay, we ain't got no opening. I had to stop due to my mom needing to talk to me. And then I've been busy these last two days, and today is, like, the only day that I'm able to record this today. And just my... My week has been hellish and it's going to be worse next week because it's going to be even more hellish and I'm going to be uber busy and I don't even know if I'm going to have time to record and I don't know how the fuck I'm going to cope and I'm just I'm already tired I'm going to be very tired next week these next two weeks are going to fucking kill me mm -mm. All day. You know, it's my day off. I shouldn't be doing itch. But I'm always doing something, even on my day off. But it's okay. Right, so what else should we even do? <laughs> yeah but i think your mom still wants you to continuously do the homework that means still having greater relationship with your friends and then discovering new things about you know not only the world but yourself This owl. She's <laughs> gonna be on all day.
God. Rico. It's just still so funny to see Rico like this and seeing how much she's evolved. Because remember, at the beginning of the series, she was not one with dogs. And you're like, oh, baby, you just done a deal. Oh, a Ruby. She's just done a good job. And I'm so proud of her. No, babe, don't say that. She always has fun with you. You just kind of miss her company. You're kind of right about that. I love how we over here, we got to ring the alarm because this is a special case. Yeah, that was something I was thinking she could have just been at home, but no, that's not the case. Hmm. Maybe she's at this, uh, um, the tree stump. Or she could be with Mari. You haven't seen Mari in the episode yet. Her birthday? Hmm? Oh, I thought Dio was going to be driving. I was like, okay, go ahead, girl. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's Mari.
Oh, <laughs> it's Chica. Really think back in your memories, bud. Hmm? Oh, and you got lost. There you are. Where they first met. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh. That connection, that instant connection. Oh my god, this is me and Cody. This <laughs> is me with all of my dogs. Oh. Wait! Don't look down. Focus on the cat. Did you get the cat too? No, 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 no! Oh.
Mm-hmm. Taylor Swift song right there and spin it around. Oh my god. I'm my baby. Hey, big boy. Mm -hmm. But you didn't answer until late.
But she still feels lonely, though. Oh, my God. She just feels a little jealous. Oh. Baby. And she was trying to tell her something, and then she gets interrupted by everybody else. And it's in a weird way. She kind of feels like the third wheel now, because... These two used to be inseparable. They're, they used to be as one. They were always together. And now that Johanne has the girls, it feels like Johanne isn't making time for Lilabs. And so, of course, Lilabs feels some type of way. And she's trying to convey those emotions and, you know, that energy to Johanne and such. I think it's kind of like, okay, with my dog, the first time um, I went on a, what I like to say, girls trip but I like to say I like to call that trip the girls trip from hell trip because it really was because everything that went bad went worse but um that was the first time that I had kind of let go of Cody where I let some someone else in my family watch him and so it was my mom's sister who lived like right up the street from us and we were gone majority of the weekend and the saddest thing was the next day when I woke up and I went to go get breakfast talking to them and such they were giving us like updates because of course when you are gone from a pet and something uh, someone who you really care about you want to know updates on them right and so um everything was good it's just the sad thing was he wasn't eating he was drinking everything doing everything good he was just a little upset because he thought he got abandoned and it was a little hard for him just for those three days to just be like oh okay oh my god i don't like i know who y'all are but where where's where's me where's my mom and such because he was so used to me and my mom because even when i got him the first time because i'll never forget it it was a rainy day so anytime when it rains i instantly think of that day um and my mom and i had to drive to my mom's job to go get him and he was just like the cutest little thing. Cody's still the cutest little thing now. He, he just, he, he adorable. <laughs> he was a little sucker. And I love him so much. And I hogged him for like two, three weeks. And so always like no matter what, even today when I was going to, my mom and I were taking the trash out. Um, he always looks for me. He'll look for my mom, but he'll always look for me because he associates me as mom. And so she my mom as quote unquote the lady. Or, uh, quote unquote, grandma, but you'd be looking at her, he'd be looking at her like, mm -mm, you lady, like, I tolerate you, you cool and all, but I don't want you, and such. And so, it, you can see that jealousy from Lay Laps, like, very much so. And so, like, it, it also just reminds me anytime when, like, before Cody, my two previous dogs, Yana and Kiana, um, would be hella sometimes jealous when one got more attention than the other. Now, Cody, Cody is an attention hog, like, straight up. If you pet him a little bit and then stop, he looks at you like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, ah, ah, pet me, and such. So, once again, I get the reason of why Lilabs fell some type of way. So, hopefully, when we get into next week's episode on Sunday, after I come home from work, um, hopefully her and Johanne do have a conversation. I do really love the fact that this episode was predominantly focused on their relationship and how they first met and to see where they've grown from, from the beginning all the way up until now, even though it's just, they're kind of really at a standpoint. You're at a crossroads and even seeing Johanne stand at the four way crossroad, that was really the relationship in the, in the nutshell of this show ever since she's met everyone else so i think funny enough she has all the symbols i feel like there is kind of maybe one 
more symbol and that will be the lilac symbol that will possibly pop up i'm not 100 percent sure on that but that's just a little educated guess that i'm just saying like hey let me just throw that out there that could happen but you know it could go somewhere completely different but we won't know until the next couple of weeks but other than that guys that is my reaction for you towards episode nine of sunshine in the mirror if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every time when i join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all on Sunday after work when I come home for episode 10. Bye guys!